and trying to do that. It would be so... It would be so sarcastic. It wouldn't even be... I mean, it would just be contrived. You could tell if I was to go, Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the True Bro Down. Hope you had a blessed day. Is everything going good with you? I hope everything's going great. I mean, it just <laughs> would so not be natural coming from me. No, not not even a little bit. Well, I mean, if that's what people expect, sorry, that ain't me. We aren't Alex Hefner. <laughs> no, I wish. What's up, guys? <laughs> I wish. I have nowhere near that energy. You got that young energy. You got that young kid energy. So give it 10 more years and you'll see that, that I energy. I already goes have from, no energy and I am a millennial. Hey, everybody. You're, you're going to be, mm, I'm just kind of. What up? We're here. We're doing the thing. On today's show, we're going to review Disturbed. That's about as much as you're going to get out of me on something like that. But we are going to check out Disturbed with Ann Wilson of Heart, who, I mean, I grew up in the 80s. She's an icon. If you don't know who Ann Wilson is, you're under a rock. Yeah, I mean, you, you would have to be a fool not to have heard crazy on you. Barracuda. Literally any song by them at some point you've heard Heart and Ann Wilson is iconic. Her voice is iconic. She's one of the greatest singers not only in the 80s but in history. Of if you had a top time. 100 list and you don't put Ann Wilson on it, that's a shame and, and wrong. Shame. It's just wrong. Shame. And she would be in my top 50. I know a lot of singers. So, I mean, she's a special vocalist, and she's going to be singing with someone who I consider to have one of the most noticeable voices of anyone out there. Another icon, but a modern day icon. Well, he could collaborate on someone's album and not put his name in the title, and as soon as you heard him begin to sing, you would immediately go, that's a drain. I mean, or somebody trying to sound just like him, because there's really no one that sounds like him. But you know who could find out, find someone who sounds like him? Dick. Nick, don't do this. <laughs> that would be interesting. He's probably already done a Disturbed style. I think he did do a song that, to me, on, on guitar reminded me of Disturbed, but I think he made it just new metal in general. I just mean voice-wise. <laughs> but that's hard to find. I mean, that, it's just a very iconic voice in its own right. I mean, I'm not talking the sound of violence or... Ugh. I'm not talking that. I'm talking, wow, nobody did that. I am a Disturbed fan. I'm just not... They, their music to me has evolved past where I want to hear them. With Draymond's voice, I want to hear him. I think the last thing I really listened to them, by them was like Thousand Fists in the Air album. Like full album that I listened to. I listened to that one and I'm sure I listened to the one after that. So I just kind of fell off the disturbed bandwagon. But I do really love Ann Wilson and David Draymond's voice. So when we heard they did a collaboration, we figured we'd check that one out. So Draymond with Disturbed and Ann Wilson don't tell me. Let's do this. Oh, this is right up in Ann Wilson. I wasn't Ann. I've seen Ann. Oh, no, I'm saying this was the sound. Oh, it's like that. We can't help but cause more pain. Wounded more with every word that we say. The memories remain. God, I love his voice. It's like Broadway. Yeah, he needs to do more of that. It, it suits his voice to me.
Oh, I got the, I got the chicken. I close my eyes to steal. Ah, she's got to be in her sixties and still that good. Oh, they sound good together. How can I let you go? Her voice sounds good on metal. Don't tell me That man's got a powerful yeah. voice. Yeah. Just a powerful voice. I had chill bumps throughout that entire thing. They are so... Why haven't they done anything together before? Well, I mean, it's an unlikely combo. It's not... But is it really, though? Yeah, she did shit with Mike Reno back in the day from Loverboy. You wouldn't really just yeah, peg but her she with was... Disturbed. Yeah, but Hart was... It was an 80s metal band, wasn't they? I mean, they Consider were rock. Considerably, like, rock, whatever, yeah, heavy rock. rock, hard rock, I guess. Hard rock. But for the most part, it was soft rock. I mean, I love it. It worked. Heart was fantastic. I mean, you could tell through the 80s, they became a lot more tame and more commercial. But well, that tends stuff, to happen over time. 70s stuff was pretty good hard rock. But I've always loved Ann's voice. She's just had a phenomenal voice. She got a nose job or something. I don't know. Something about her nose was bugging me. Go back and watch the video <laughs> and tell me if it bugs you because it just it bugged me. Their their voices melded together well. I thought. Yeah. When they piped her in, but his voice is so powerful that I could he drowned her out even in the mix. I could hear her underneath, but yeah. just barely. Because he's so powerful, it's hard to turn that down. That's that's not volume. That's no, that's just power. That's power in that that's voice. Lung you... capacity. How do you do that? The lungs of a singer, baby. So it was <clears throat> it was a good mixture when they could get the two of them to sing at the same level. But that guy's powerful, and it was it was a good song. It's a good duet. It was so good. I think the last good duet we saw was Daltrey and Lizzie Hale. And that was really good too. Yeah, it was a, a, 
another one of those where you get two very distinct voices and put them together and they mesh very well. Nothing more. And uh, Lacey Sturm was a really good one too. That was recent. Yeah. Well, within the last year recent. It was good. I wouldn't put it on par with this. I don't know. I love Lacey and I love Johnny, but this is Draymond and and Wilson. <laughs> you know, we, we got to keep things in perspective. Here. But, They're good. But you're good. And and Daltrey and Lizzie Hale. I mean, let's keep it in perspective, Johnny. I'm I'm I love nothing more. You're the man. And the same with Lacey. I think Lacey's got to me a distinguishable yeah, voice. Same. But if you've never heard Lacey before, you've probably heard people, as I mentioned earlier, on Broadway, and that sounds similar to her. And that's what I thought the beginning of the song was, was I, I've been, I got drugged to several Broadway. When I lived in New York, I had to go. I had to go to see Broadway shows. And I saw three. Can't pass that up when you're in New York. I hated all of them except one. So I got one out of three. Which one was it? That was Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, that's, yeah. Okay. And that's the right. Canadian singer, I can't remember her name. She was absolutely flawless. I mean, it was, that's the only reason I enjoyed it. Because I do not like when people talk their words through song. Just, I don't like musicals. It's Broadway. I don't like Broadway. I was told, you're going to like it. And they were wrong. <laughs> they were but I, wrong. But I loved her. Uh, she's one of those that I think she was a Canadian singer. I have to look her up. But I heard some of her music, and she is freaking awesome. And that's the Canadian version of, I guess, what you would call Ann Wilson for us. Very noticeable voice, very distinct. But when you hear Ann Wilson, you know that's the singer for Heart. Good compilation. I mean, in order to do anything that convoluted, I would say just to try to get two very indistinguishable voices to get together and mesh, I would love to see Dave Mustaine sing with Tatiana from Ginger. Oh, dude. Just to see what that would sound like. Get in the comments and tell me if this is a good idea because. I think that would be very interesting, to say the least. She's done lots of. of yeah. I mean, she already, she people. did one with POD. That was kind of yeah. unlikely. She's done them with several. We reacted to several. Yeah. She was a guest. So she's up. Dave, call Tatiana and to hear that uh, singing with her would be, it'd be worth the price of admission. I would pay for that. In the comments, let us know. What do you think? You know, are you a heart fan? Did you come here for Disturbed? Did the video remind you of the Sound of Silence video? Because it did me. Did Ann Wilson's nose bother you like it did me? And do you think that the beginning of that with the intro and all reminded you, if you're familiar with Broadway shows, did it remind you of that style? Because that's kind of what it reminded me of. His voice reminded me of Broadway. Like, share. Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. Until the next time, guys. Come at me, bro. The bro down is over. Let's bro out.